Hello YouTube, it is the Gaming Guru here today, and today I, oh, no, I'm not at three. I will be giving a tutorial for a mod that I really like called Thomcraft. So first off, what is Thomcraft? Thomcraft is a mod where you research stuff and uh, pretty much make stuff, and you use, well, magic for it and on the way you will be learning many many things and many things that will be quite as that is quite neat and I love this mod so in Thomcraft there are many of these ores okay so this is <clears throat> this is oh what's that called again I'm having a brain fart um, let's see here where is it Oh, Thumbcraft. Let's see here. That is... Come on. Come on. Cinnabar. Cinnabar or... Hold on. Let me make sure it's day out. Is it time to dawn? Okay. So that's Cinnabar. And all these other stones here hold some kind of... Well, hold on. Let me backtrack a little bit. Every item is made up of something. So here we've got the tree and the cloth. We got leaves. We got tree and magic and cinder pearls. We got flower, fire, magic, and all that stuff. So and then over here we got. Ooh, I forgot to add air infused stone to this. Well, here's it. Oh, wait, that is it. So here we got air infused stone, fire and fused stone, water infused stone, um, earth infused stone, this infused stone, and then that is dull stone, and then over here is amber. Amber is pretty much used just for the research, so let's mine all this stuff and see what we get. Okay. So let's mine this stuff. Okay, so this is the air shard. This is the fire. This is the water. This is the earth. This is the vis. And this is the dull. And here's amber. You pretty much, for cinnabar, you have to smelt it in order to get the ore. And then here we got and then if you click shift you can see all these icons of what elements are in them which is really neat and helpful so okay so oh no I game mode Let's see okay should probably dump this out oh so I dropped the earth shard Okay, so how do I get started? First off, you are going to need the Wand of the Apprentice, which in here, I have the crafting recipe. You need any type of shard, this, air, whatever, I'm just using this for this, and then a gold nugget at the bottom. So when we do that, in the crafting table, we get the Wand of the Apprentice. Ooh, let's see what... So here it has work, tools, and magic. And this is like how much power the wand has. When it's fully charged up, you're gonna see what we're gonna do next. It is awesome! Come on. Charge. 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 There you go. Anyway, okay. So then, you gotta get out a bookshelf. And then you have to sh click, hold down shift, and then right click the bookshelf, and look what you got. The Thaumonomicon. Say it with me guys, Thaumonomicon. Okay then, so the Thaumonomicon is pretty much your bible of researching in Thaumcraft. So you got all these research ideas here, you got, these are the, it's here, five first ones that you want to start out with. But let's look up here for a little bit. Aspects of Magic. 
Every item or object or creature is bound by varying mystical elements known as aspects. Aspects describe the object's makeup and bend towards the magical elements. A simple stone may possess the aspect of sexum, or while complex items like trees or even creatures may be up of various different aspects varying amounts. There are close to 50 known aspects with being more being discovered all the time. To view that what aspect an item possesses, simply hover over your cruiser the item and press shift, and you will see the aspects at the item and what amounts each. Aspects that have um, how been separated from their objects purified is known as essentia. It is very valuable, both as crafting tool and as a subject for magical research. Alright, so that's neat. The aura who flux when magic goes wrong. Ooh. I'm not going to be going over everything in here. Smoky quartz is just pretty much black quartz, and you just make it by the workbench doing that. With the okay, then, so it has a bunch of recipes. Let's read about the aura. The ore is a field of magical energy prevailing throughout the world. Its origin is unclear. Some believe it is the accumulated life force of living beings, while others believe it to merely be another type of energy seeping in from other place. The last theory seems most likely as the aura is often found surrounding a node of concentrated mystical energy known as an aura node. Each aura node has a base amount of magical energy. It can contain if this energy dips lower, it will try and recharge itself back to the base level. It does this by either borrowing energy from nearby auras or by being recharged by infused ore nearby. Whenever a node above or below is its base number, it randomly generates flux as it struggles to return to its base level. We'll be learning about flux later. Aura nodes vary in strength, size, and locations, and so far, four types have been discovered normal, without any special attributes, pure, unstable, and dark. The aura can be taped by a thaumaturge to power his magical devices and spells. Every energy that has been harvested in this manner is known as vis, which is where we get our vis shard. Flux. Using magic is never without risk, and nothing proves this as much as flux. I'll stop that in a minute. If the magical aura can be described as a still pool, flux the ripples and eddies caused by a rock dropped into it. It is not a corruption of magic, but a disturbance. Order turning to chaos, and the natural laws being turned on their head. Snap. Luckily, auras will almost always strive for order and balance, and this usually means that flux is purged from them in some way. The exact form this takes can vary vastly and depends on the type of flux represented in the aura. The simplest and most common is a spontaneous generation of the magical creatures known as wisps, lightning strikes, storms, or mysterious illnesses, or boots that all held the examples of flux being purged from an aura. Only the brave or foolish practices magic without keeping an eye on how much flux they are letting loose into the environment. So you gotta be careful with the flux. Um, bottle of rainwater. Um, let's read about... New enchantments. Haste, repair, potency, frugal, Charging. Haste. This enchantment can be applied to footwear of all types and increase the wearer's land speed. The higher the level of enchantment, the higher the speed bonus granted. You pretty much know what repair means. Potency. This enchantment increases the damage range of area the wand it is applied to. Frugal. Wands with this enchantment lose less durability when they are used. Nice. Charging. Wands with this enchantment retain some of the features of casting wands they are crafted from and will slowly recharge themselves from the aura. Nice. So, I think that's it for going over the basic stuff in the Thaumadomicon. You can go over everything else if you want. They got these great wood trees and silver wood trees. They got more stuff on the infused ore here. Let's turn off this rain. It's getting really annoying. Anyway, let's get over here. So, 
I've been talking about research a lot, so how do I research? Okay. Well, first off, you're going to need some basic items here. You're going to need three tables in the way that you use, and then you make tables. Here's the crafting recipe, so you're going to need three oak slabs, and then between, and you're going to need put two oak slabs right here, oak wood planks, excuse me, right here, and then you're going to make three of those, you put two of them right next to each other, and then you leave one on its own, and then for the two that's right next to each other, you take a glass bottle, ink sack, and feather, right click this, and boom, you got <clears throat> a research table, so how do we research, oh yeah, what do I use the third one for? Well, pretty simple as this. You right click it, and then it turns like into a Thomcraft crafting table. Pretty neat. Okay then. So when you're researching, you gotta have paper. Okay. So there's two different modes when you're doing this. Cursory and thorough. When you're doing cursory, you're not exactly doing... You're not researching a lot, but it's sparing your items. Because you're going to need many items for this research. But thorough, it goes through your items quicker. But you have a higher chance of discovering something. And I usually like to do thorough. So that's what we're going to do for this tutorial. And let's turn it back to... Dawn. Okay. So, what do we want to research first? We've got four options. we got this thingy, this thingy, this thingy, this thingy, and a weird-looking gold nugget. Let's go with this thingy. Okay, for this one, we're going to need coal. And for coal, you can see that it has fire, that and rock. So let's just grab a stack of coal and then we'll stick it in the research table over here. And then as you can see here are the different things or whatever those called. And then when this has says 100% those researches are done. So let's read this. This glowing flame seems to be fueled by magic itself. The number of uses for an everlasting flame seems endless, but unfortunately it doesn't seem to produce much heat, though it could pro prove to be a steady source of light energy. And it's called the Night Ore. Okay. So, since it said it uses magic, let's grab a this shard. This shard. Or 64 this shards. Okay, that doesn't work. Um, let's see, night or heat. Oh, yep, now I remember what we need. We need something with light. And that was pretty stupid. Okay, so. We need something with light. And discovery. Night or. This glowing flame seems to be fe okay. So it's pretty much the thalamic, the entry in there. So we right-click it. Yes, I. No, we did it. Okay. So let's look in the thalamic on then. So night or eternal flame. Okay, we're gonna need a crucible. Forgot about that. Okay. So the way you make a crucible here. Let's read about it in here. Crucible. To craft the crucible, you must simply use your wand on a cauldron placed in the world. The crucible is an important tool for any thaumaturge. It allows him to render physical objects into their component, the sentia, and recombine it again as he wishes. So, the crucible needs to be placed over a source of constant heat and filled with water. Once the water starts boiling, you will simply throw any items you wish to break down into the crucible, and they will be broken down into their component, essentia. You can use, then use a wand on the crucible if you got the ratio and the amount of essentia right. You might be able to craft something. Okay, so, a heat source. Let's just go with lava. Okay. Oh wait. Uh. Bucket.
Okay, so I think that we need to place the crucible on top first. My mistake. Crucible. Wait. Hey. <sighs> this is a bad tutorial. Well, if this tutorial is okay, let me read this again. Culture. Okay, so let's get ourselves a cauldron. Okay, here we got a cauldron. And then let's put it right here. And then below we put our heat source. And then let's fill it up with water. Water bucket. No, not a water bill. Water bucket. Fill it up with water. And then where's our one? So we just take out the Wand of the Apprentice from here, and then... Boom! Oh, we gotta fill it up again with water. Okay, so we wait until that starts boiling. Is it boiling yet? Yep, it's boiling. So, the Thaumonomicon said that for in order to make one of these we need... Four Ignis, six Lux, and four Potentia. So, let's get torches. Okay, and then coal. So, let's see, it's here two of those in there, and then six torches, I think. Yeah, you gotta make sure that you beat it up with this amount right here, unless you... So... Two coal... And then six torches. Let's just throw one more in there. Okay. Where's my wand? Oh, I must have thrown it out. Okay. Well then, let's just get a new one. Come on, mouse. On the apprentice. Okay. So then we right click this and. Okay, must not have added enough then. Uh, water. Let's try this again. Water bucket. I'm so bad. Okay. Water bucket, and then let's check the Thaumonomicon entry again. Four, four. Four, four. Must not have added enough torches. Okay. These each have two, so, yeah. Okay. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. And why is this not working? Okay, that's just weird. That should work. Don't know why it's not working. But uh, anyways, I'll show you what the Night Tour does. So when you have a Night Tour, you can right-click around it, and it becomes a lighting source. Pretty, pretty neat. Okay, then. So, for a second object, to research, we're also going to need some gunpowder. Come on. I don't know what it is with my mouse sometimes. It's <clears throat> gunpowder. Good. Let's go. What did the heck? Why is this doing this? Okay, there we go. That's better. Okay, now let's stick this gunpowder in the research table. Doop, 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 doop. Okay, so we have the aluminum. Hmm? One second. 
Hold on one second. Um, okay. So we have that ready. And, uh, can't exactly remember what I need to get for the other item. So I'm going to look that up real quickly and get back to you guys. Alright guys, I figured out what the issue was. I needed Potentio, which is like that thing with uh, holding the staff. So, okay, come on. This. I needed this. Okay. So, come on, mouse. I need to figure out why this has been going on. Okay. <coughs> A discovery. Aluminumenta. This substance throbs with fiery energy, and it is more than eager to release that energy at the slightest bump. It may be unstable, it would probably make a good source of fuel. That's funny. So, <clears throat> Aluminumenta. Come on. Let's go. Mouse work. Alum. Okay. So let's try checking one of these things. Let's go destroy the village. Let's be evil people. This is actually... Is this two villages in one? I think it is. Jeez. It's fire falling from the sky. Oh my word, I'm gonna get so many bad comments about this. You NPC killer. We'll just have to blow it up on the inside now, won't we? That is an explosion proof house. We will set a nuke there. Come on. Work. What is with you? Maybe the batteries are dying. Okay, apparently this stuff is resistant against cobblestone. Well, this stuff can't go through cobblestone, apparently. So, we'll just have to... See what this looks like. Well, it's destroyed. Let's plant two nukes. Nuke. Bada bing, bada boom. From turning into it, from going to a tutorial to this. My goodness. Let's see, there's one right there. One right here. And. One right there. Let's see here. Uh, flint and steel. Let's blow up these guys. Yeah. Oh, uh, where's the other one? Oh yeah, somewhere like right here. Goodbye, NPC village. Whoa! That did a lot. Didn't even hear the explosion. Yeesh. And... Ooh, 
Ooh, the indestructible house was destroyed. What? Interesting. Okay, then. So, anyway, thank you for watching this tutorial today. I hope it helped when you're out researching on your own. You just pretty much want to experiment with a bunch of uh, different things, so... Whack! What do I have? Why do I expose this? Flux, maybe? <laughs> Probably. That's strange. Maybe it was the flux. Huh. Okay, then. I won't ponder over that too much longer. Um, I hope this helped, and, uh... Have fun exploring your own Thumbcraft journey. Oh, okay. That's that's a lot of lag. Okay then. That's that's very nice. Lots of lag. And this village is obliterated. I should take a screenshot of this. Nice. Okay then, thank you for watching. If you like the video, please like it. And if you want to see more from me, uh subscribe. Thank you very much, and goodbye.